Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff V. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff V. coming to you from Butchery on the Grand. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I've got Nikki here with me from um, Butchery on Grand, right. as well as uh, Susie Kraft is here with us, uh, Ruth and Meats, and uh, Locker at the Lakes and everything. And, right. And Susie, we are getting ready for, of course, our Thanksgiving people, family, yeah, invading yeah. our homes and, and we want to, you know, have nice presentations of, of food for everybody to enjoy, and football. All of the things, yeah. And I, I still wonder, why are the Detroit Lions on every Thanksgiving? But that's beside the point. Well, but, but we're playing your team on oh, Thanksgiving. I'm that, going. That's, are you going? We're going. Get the, Sorry, the, people. The Patriots but yeah. <laughs> it, it's going to be a day. Anyways. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Enough about us. Well, we are... <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about something that has become so huge, huge, and it's the charcuterie yes. boards. Yes. Yeah. So um, you know, it's been a very popular trend lately, and uh, we've been making several every week, and then we also offer classes. So um, Nikki is our store manager here at the butchery, right. and uh, she is our charcuterie queen. Uh, are you okay with that word? Uh, okay. So she. Out of all of us that can make them, it's just you want her making them, by the way. Right. Uh, super good at it, and she can do all different kinds of things. Like, well, we kind of talk about the little Midwest version of a charcuterie board, which she does very well. So, so, so a Midwest version would differ from what, a, a West Coast version, maybe, <laughs> or East Coast? I, well, I, I mean, it's just, you know, culture is culture. Yeah. Right? And food culture is huge. So, uh, when I lived in California, I, I'm sure you, in California, did you ever see a pickle roll out there? Never. Never, never saw a, a pickle roll, okay, which so, was a okay. shame because I think I went five years without one. Yeah. You know, so like, of course, uh, out in California, you're not going to see a pickle roll on a charcuterie board. Right. You're just not. <laughs> so here you will. Thank goodness. Because she makes a <laughs> really good pickle roll. So that's kind of just a small example of yeah. what that difference would be. Yeah. Wonderful. So what what's the, the, the secret? We were talking about, and I know you do the classes you talked yeah. about here, and you also go on site different places right. so people don't have to drive to Spencer. Right. So we're doing do. one in a, a week or so up in Esterville at a restaurant. Okay. And a group of ladies wanted us to come up there so that they wouldn't have to travel all the way down here. And we're all for it. Let's introduce it to Esterville uh, because this group of ladies, I'm quite sure, will be sharing the wealth of knowledge and it'll be all over Esterville. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And so we'll, we'll go out and, in town and do those as well. Wonderful. Well, you know, as we get ready for the holidays, how, how far in... Uh before Thanksgiving Day, or if you, your friends are coming on Wednesday, Tuesday, whatever it is, how far in advance should they be saying, hey, we need a charcuterie reward? At this stage of the game, since we're so close to Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. I would say at, at least 24 to 48 hours notice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nikki has been nice enough to go out to the locker and help them on certain days too. And so uh, the, more, the more we have a, a heads up, Right. the more likely we're going to say yes to that last minute board. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we made one the other day with like six hours notice, but well, I can't promise that as it's Thanksgiving week that well, we'd be able yeah, to do that. And things are going to bunch up pretty quickly as we uh, all know. We've got, I think we've got about 500 butcher boxes to make okay. at this point. Yeah, right. On top of it. Don't so. forget about that as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. She's got locker trash well, going on I, that I board. I was just going to say, you certainly caught my attention by putting a little <laughs> locker trash. <laughs> yeah, and that's <laughs> their that is a prime example of a Midwest version okay. of a charcuterie board. Right. You're not going to see that in New York City or Boston or well, Los Angeles. So too bad for the people out in yeah, <laughs> LA and New them, York right? as far as yeah. that's concerned. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so, okay, so we've got uh, the different types of meats, and I see she's putting on some, uh, uh, of course, the crackers. Uh, mm -hmm. we'd, and we had talked a little bit before about you know, years ago, you would, before charcuterie became the thing, you'd, you'd get a box of chicken and a biscuit, mm, mm, mm. some Ritz crackers, and, yeah. and you'd toss them in a bowl, uh -huh. and then maybe, you know, get... Uh, Throw it on your coffee table and yeah, call exactly. it a day. Exactly. Some cream cheese that you spoon yeah. out. The, this has a presentation as an artistic feel to it, I think. It, and they're just... Yes. And, and, you know, anybody can appreciate the way it looks, yeah. honestly. And uh, the other really cool thing 
about a charcuterie board or tray or table, grazing table, whatever it is that, whatever size you decide to do, it's the time where you can really sample things that you wouldn't typically sample. And that was the the large wedding that we just did this past weekend. Uh, Again, 200 people were there and it was two six foot long boards uh, that went went right through. Well, sure. Uh, And the comments that we were receiving were pretty common. And that was, I would have never tried that cheese. Yes. Well, because if you're looking at a $16 block of cheese, that's kind of an all-in kind of thing. But if you see it on a charcuterie board where you can, like, take a nibble of it. Yeah. You're like, oh, I like that or I don't. You might just get addicted to something you've never tried before. Right. So it really exposes you to things that aren't typically purchased. Right. um, You know, on your weekly shopping trip. Right. So uh, that's another fun part of a charcuterie board. Um, Yeah. And there's... You know, there's seven different kinds of cheeses out there in the world. So sample them all. Charcuterie is a good way to display it and to get them sampled. Exactly. Yeah. So if I call in and I I can kind of request different things uh, to be on? So we have three basic sizes, and that's small, medium, and large. So a small is going to have for about five to eight people. Okay. Taking into consideration that this isn't your only food. Right? Like, this isn't lunch for a group of guys, because that's not going to do it. Right? Right. Um, But if it's an appetizer or something just to kind of graze on, and there's other stuff that they're grazing on, then the small for five to eight people is perfect. The medium, and that's that's $50. Okay. Uh, The medium is for about eight to 12 people. Again, same considerations. um, And that's $75. And then the large is $100. And that's going to go up to 18 people. Okay. The large... With 18 people, sometimes there's leftovers, but you know, whatever. Yeah. So we use as much of the boar's head meats that we can, um, and that's high quality meat. Oh yes. And as much of the cheese that we can, um, but we all we also use some of our own products, as you can see, like with the locker trash and, and such. So right. So and there's always some veggies and some fruit and lots of fun stuff. On yeah. It. Now, do they? Uh, does it refrigerate well? Say the, the guests come on. Wednesday and not everything's taken and then boy I'd love to throw this out again tomorrow for Thanksgiving yeah before we eat or after we eat whatever so yes um yeah so one of the things if there happens to be leftovers (laughs) (laughs) if there happens to be leftovers the thing that we suggest is that you take the meat and the cheese take it off and bag it up individually and then just put the board back together the next day get creative with it because when it's picked through yeah it starts to not look as pretty. Boy, sure. Right. That's so, yeah. So, but yes, the stuff would be good. Pro- I mean, in your refrigerator, just like any lunch meat would be. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, okay. yeah. Good. But I rarely see one with leftovers. <laughs> yeah. I was wishful thinking on my part. I guess. You know, because you could pick all day. You put it out in the morning. Or something. Exactly. Yeah. And it never gets old. You just keep going back, and, mm-hmm. and you know they. And I think the mistake is you give them those little plates, and when they what they want is a plate about yay big. Yeah, you know, yeah exactly, going. exactly. So you know, there's just lots of fun stuff you can put on them. And I'm going to grab something over here quick okay. without messing up Nikki's board. <laughs> These guys are okay. kind of the sleeper MVP. That is prosecco balls. Say you know, it again. Prosecco. Prosecco balls. balls. Okay. Uh, well, actually, they're cordials. Prosecco oh. cordials. Okay. But they, they are balls. So I'm going to have you try one. Yes. My hands are clean. Okay. <laughs> I trust you. And it. so it's kind of glittery. I don't know if you could see that. that. Yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to get in uh, your shot here. There yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah. You can see my hand. And so taste yeah. it. Do you like Prosecco, by the way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Isn't it interesting? Oh, my goodness. The initial is kind of a like, a sweetness. Yeah. It's kind of bizarre. And fun. But, like, you wouldn't sit down and eat a whole bag of these. No. But, like, when you see them on a charcuterie board, it's like, oh, okay, I'll grab a couple more of those. Yeah. Because they're interesting and they kind of cleanse your palate a little bit. But this is just an example of, like, some of the fun stuff that we find to put on these boards. So yeah. We've got all kinds of nuts and uh, candy that we'll put on, like, chocolates. Yeah. Things like that that'll kind of... Be- Kind of bland out your palate a right, little bit. Right, yeah. You do. You, you eat meat and cheese and so forth, and you kind of like to cleanse that palate so you can really taste the other right. off things offered. Right, exactly. So we do try to uh, put like a cheese experience on them as well. 
uh, the one that she's making today is is not going to be as detailed because what are we going to do with it? I don't know. We can eat it, but <laughs> but but um, it's you want to get as many. You want a soft cheese for sure. Right. You want a hard cheese for sure. If you have a gouda, you're going to want to have some honey on there to put on the gouda. Yeah. Um, so and oh oh, speaking of cheese. Yes. We're offering a Cheese 101 class, which is everything you want to know about cheese. Okay. Seven different kinds of cheese. We're going to get really into it, a lot of fun, a lot of sampling. Um, so we'll be offering that again throughout the year. Okay. Um, and uh, we limit that to about 20 people. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So we're getting towards the, this thing is looking pretty full at this point. And yeah, and you just keep adding. And, and again, oh, it's like you don't want to overthink it. Yeah, she just went, bam. Yeah. It's like you want to do the Emerald Lagasse. Just a, a whole lot of choices. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And so you can get super, super fancy, or you can keep it very, you know, depending on who your audience is with right. your shark right. board, you really want to make sure that you're targeting them and making it so that they're very interested in trying something new. Right. Nikki, what are we going to put in this one? Just do dill. Oh, yeah. Do you any kind of veggies dip? Mm -hmm. It's right by the veggies, or oh, yeah, yeah. Or Put if the, you got fruit, you can do fruit. But something yeah. to dip those things into right. there. Yeah, and what's this one? That was. Oh, okay. So this is the buffalo. That's a uh, chipotle. That's Here you go. Chipotle. I swear my hands are clean. <laughs> I, so this I is have a, no doubt that, that you're <laughs> telling the truth. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so that is boar's head chicken breast mm. it's a lunch meat and it's chipotle but they have like a they have a teriyaki that's really good and what's that other one uh like a chicken it's a chicken noodle soup oh it tastes mm. just like chicken noodle soup mm. crazy well, this so, is wonderful but so, this is a little chipotle you say yeah yeah so what we use with those we are making regular traditional meat and cheese trays too okay. um and uh you know, those are great for meetings and, and somebody who doesn't really want, like they've got a meat and potatoes guy at home, so this yeah. wouldn't be, right? So we're still making those, um, and those would be, so like a size of a 14-inch platter okay. is about $75, but you're looking at, that's just driven by the meat. So yeah. whatever's not eaten off of that, you can certainly put away and make sandwiches. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, you just have crackers and bam, you're done. And there's the, the dip for your, your veggies. And yeah. Of course, I'll throw about anything in a dip. I, I, I experiment with dips, too. I'll put in stuff, and boy, that tastes I'm pretty good with really that. I'm still really not recovered from that turkey you did. <laughs> was it? No, it was a ham. It was a ham. Yes. So let me tell you what, it, for all of you that didn't watch that last year, <laughs> I came Was it last year or 2020? I think it was 2020, yeah. Oh, man, time flies. <laughs> I, I came unglued. I could not believe what I was watching. So we took a beautiful honey-baked ham that we sell. Beautiful... Mm -hmm. Ham, and he injected it. What did you inject it with? I think with maple syrup and butter. Yeah, yeah, and then smoked it again. And I'm like, what are you doing? Anyways, I'm gonna trust you that it was good. You never brought me a piece to try. <laughs> I'm an artist. I like to try things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that's where I was going with that. I sometimes I get lost, but yeah. So we're really looking forward to seeing what happens down here at the butchery um, because this is our first season here. Yes. Uh, we know what to expect at the lakes. We know what to expect at the locker. Here, we're like, okay, we're just going to have to batten down the hatches and see because we're already busy with boards. Yeah. So um, it'll be really fun to see what happens through Christmas. Yeah. That first year, you always learn, you yeah. know, what you need to do. And yeah. Okay. Oh, so she, now, is she making the... Uh, she is sneaking in there and making... What are you making there, Nikki? Cheese. She's making a cheese rose. But don't you worry. You're going to learn how to do something like this. Oh, my goodness. You're going to, like, actually do it. Can I? I'm going to grab. Oh, so you see what she's doing there? She's molding it around the cup. And then, oh, look at that. Look, oh, and look. then she turns it over. And it's just so beautiful. You, you molded it in the cup and then turn it. And it is. It's, 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 it's a white rose. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, Nikki, why don't you show him how to... Um, do one with the salami. So, do you well, want to? Sure, I'll I'll slide in here. Well, and I've done numerous sizes of uh, roses too. Okay. Um, and just whatever you want. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Nikki's very good at, it, and I can't wait what? to see what yours. Yeah, I was going like. to say I'm, I'm sure my first attempt is going to be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> but you can eat it. 
<laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> okay, so I've got a, a little cup here. Okay. Get this out of the way. And so then they just, I just stick the, like, not all the way in, but just a little bit way in there. Okay. And then push it down. Down to the side? Yep. And you want it to stick. Yep, and okay. then just hang on to it as you add the... <laughs> and then add another. Yep, and then just go, just overlap go. it just a little bit. Look at you! Man. Your wife is going to be so impressed. That'd be a first. You're going to wow her. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy's been waiting for me to wow her for a few decades. <laughs> oh, she, like I said before, she should be nominated for Satan. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's in the running. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, I, I don't know, she might take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so just all the way around once, or do I go yeah, up? Yeah, and then you just keep going, however big you want your rose. Okay. Yeah, and just remember, you get to eat this, so as much <laughs> as you want to use. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This, this is cool. And I would have never thought of this on my own to do something like no, that. No, it's like, who did? Somebody. Somebody Some did. I don't, I, like, I don't know. Okay. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Okay. Is so, it, is do, it, it, do they have a good shot of this on camera? Because that's see. important. Let's see. <laughs> You're gonna lose one. <laughs> <laughs> there okay. There's mine right there, just like that. Okay. Right, and then you can just put can it wherever I, you feel can like I you just, would want to put it. Okay. It's not terrible. No. It's not. It's good. I mean, I've done worse things in my life. <laughs> We all? <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, and, and if they start to fall apart, you can just kind of manage them with your fingers and yep. get them back together. And there's people who do really tight ones, like where they're closed buds. Right. And then there's people who do them open. And Nikki, Nikki has made bumblebees. Wow. You're amazing, Nikki. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So these are just some of the fun things that you can do. Now your hands are all filthy. Yeah. Oh, didn't think of that one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to love cleaning off my screen here after yeah. just a little bit. Well, anyway, so uh, charcuterie boards available here, butchery on yeah. grand. Mm -hmm. Classes available and, and for, as we say, holidays are right here. Yeah. Whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas, great way to uh, celebrate with your family and uh, have a great time and have some great food yeah. as well. Uh, we Introduce your family to the finer things in life. Yes, yeah. and greasy hands. <laughs> and greasy hands, exactly. <laughs> Greet them like that when they come in the like, door. Hey, they, they've been making your charcuterie they, board. They won't come back next year if that's what you're going for. <laughs> and a reminder, of course, you've got uh, Boar's Head food. Horse head lunch meats lunch and meats cheeses and, yes. and hummus and you name it. So fresh slice. So yeah, it, you're not going to find it anywhere else in Northwest Iowa. Exactly so. right. All yeah. right. Well, happy holidays happy to holidays. both of you and uh, and of course to you as well, Nikki and Susie. We thank them for being here with us today. We thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by. The Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake. Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services. Advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 